Frank, both in Houston and here at Cleveland State. The flyers that were put up depict an illustration of a man with a rope around his neck, a rainbow heart on his chest, and have a derogatory message aimed at the LGBT community. The message too explicit to show, but it was this flyer that was posted all over the main classroom building at Cleveland State. Kind of like just surprised and kind of disgusted. The flyer depicts an illustration of a man with a rope tied around his neck. It also gives statistics of what it claims are suicide rates among the LGBT community. And then in bold letters, it says, follow your fellow expletive. It's a cowardly thing to do since they right. didn't really put their face on it. So what they are exactly looking right. for is to encourage someone else to put put their face on it. The flyers were posted the same day the school opened its first LGBT center, which Aris Edie with the LGBT Center of Greater Cleveland says was a momentous moment for the community. It means once more there are some people who did not have access that now has access to the information that might save their lives. Edie also points out the numbers on the flyer are incorrect and that the suicide rate in the LGBT community is sadly higher. The coercion of someone attempting to take their life. There's no, there's no humor in that. There will never be humor in that. There's nothing funny about death. The Queer Student Alliance tells me school officials have taken the flyer down and are looking into who is behind this. And I've reached out to Cleveland State but have yet to hear back. But in the meantime, I've tweeted out some um, information that I got from the LGBT Center regarding their counseling services, as well as the number to the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, which is 24 hours. In Cleveland, Monaco Sarabdi, News 5.